Hey Brick fans and welcome back to the Brick Bakery, where all our jokes I have baked. I'm Jacob and today it's time for another city update. In my last city update, some of you might remember that I told you about a barren piece of base plate that hadn't been used for anything yet. Until now, it's just been a patch of sort of temporary construction site, temporary marketplace with small stalls and all different things like that. But now I think I have an idea of what I want to put in there more permanently. So let's head over to the city and check out that spot. And I'll tell you about my plans. Just before I talk to you about the plans for the square in front of these storefronts, I want to mention the great suggestions I got for what this middle one could actually be. In my last city update, I asked you folks to give me some suggestions for what should be in here. And I really got some great ones. There was one who suggested a seafood restaurant that was Robin Hall of uh, Robin Hall Builds, who has a YouTube channel you can check out if you want to. But another one suggested a jewelry store, and that was Captain Mutant himself, who also has a YouTube channel all about Lego. I encourage you to go check out those people's YouTube channels because they do great stuff. I think I'm most likely to go with a jewelry store because I think maybe we have enough food stuff already in my Lego city. So yeah, I think this will be a, a jewelry shop because that was actually a great suggestion. But on to the plan with the square. And this is the square I have been talking about. This is where I want to put in something that's more permanent. We have the police station right here. The Red Cup Cafe is just out of frame over here. The Triple J Juice Bar is right here. And of course, bookstore, jewelry store, and pizza shop over here. So there's a square right here that needs to be used for something. And I have really been racking my brain to make something here that doesn't get in the way of these, because these are actually too great, I think, to just hide with another tall building. So I have been thinking quite a lot what I wanted to do, and I think I have just a ticket. What this square needs in my eyes is water. So I thought I'd put in a small harbor all around the edge of the black road. And as you can see, there's a small sidewalk all around the edge, which I will be removing so I can put in a small harbor or pier or whatever you want to call it. It'll be around this edge. But first of all, I need to take all this stuff out of here so I can move the base plate over to the build table and start building. So here we got the base plate as it looks right now. Um, this is the front that's pointed towards the edge of the table. And this is the side that's turned towards the Red Cup Cafe and the Triple J Juice Bar. We've got uh, Ernest Bookshop right here. We've got the jewelry store right here. And of course the pizza restaurant is over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all this sidewalk, all here, here and here, and then I'll get to work on the harbor, the pier right here. But first of all, let's remove all this sidewalk. So that's the sidewalk removed and everything looks a little more, uh, shall we say, simplistic. This is very, very rudimentary. Now it's just this road. Maybe I should add some, uh, some zebra crossings as well while I'm at it. But for now, I will be putting in the harbor. And of course, you folks know that I love masonry bricks, which is why I'm gonna build this mainly of masonry bricks. And I'm also gonna use some of these uh, arches right here to create a pattern. And uh, I hope this will look good. I do have an idea in my head that seems to look good, but we'll see how it looks once I get going. So 
So this is the general outline of what I will be doing. We've got these arches all the way down here on both sides and on the back. You can see I've left a room over here and that's because I want to put in a flight of stairs so you can get from the road and up to the actual floor of the harbour. I'll be filling in these arches with the red bricks, red masonry bricks like this. Just show you like this. Yep, and two more, here we go. So we got a uh, effect like this. So there's some depth and then there is the red bricks in behind it. I think this looks kind of good and I'm, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the look already. I've got to figure out the corners right here and over here, but um, I'll, I think I can figure that out. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan, fill in everything with these masonry bricks. So I've gotten this far and uh, now it's beginning to look like something. I really like these arches right here uh, and I think it looks good with the uh, light grey and the dark red. That's a nice colour combination. Now I'm thinking I'll fill everything out here with just random uh, two by something bricks just to fill up everything uh, so I can put a layer on top just directly on top that's going to be sort of stable uh, so I don't have to have a plate on top and then a, a, a pile or sort of a, 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 a lot of these um, tiles right here so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna put some filling in here make room for the stairs uh, I'm gonna figure out how to do that as well but other than that I think that is what's going to happen here So there we are, this is the stability. And now I just need to make these stairs. And um, we've got two bricks in height and there's gonna be a layer more. So that's two bricks and a plate uh, in height. So I gotta take that into consideration when I build the stairs. But I think I, think I can manage with just this right here. So that's the stairs taken care of. I've chosen to go with a two plate staircase. Now, I don't know, I don't think that's too tall, to be honest, I think that works pretty well. It looks pretty realistic. I might have preferred something that was, you know, uh, one plate, but then again, the stairs gets to be very, very long if you do that. So I think, I think this works pretty well for these purposes. So on we go, the last bit of stabilizers in here and then a layer of tiles on top. So now you can really begin to see what I mean when I say I wanted to tile this in. I think this really finishes everything off in a wonderful way. Really, really looks so nice when you tile stuff like this. Now, of course, we've got to do something about the water as well. And there are some small, uh, some small spots right here that's just got some sand in here. I don't know. I think I'll be putting some uh, tiles in here as well, just to sort of finish it up. But um, yeah, I'll just keep uh, tiling this and uh, I'll get back to you when that's done. So here we go, I've tiled all this and I put in these and um, these are sort of, you know, you can, you can tie your boat to these, but I think I'll put a tile on top of these as well, just to sort of finish everything off and then I'll be putting, I think I'll be trying to do something with the water, I don't know if I have enough tiles for that, but um, we might have to do that in, in sort of two steps. I'll do some of it now and uh, some of it when I have enough uh, tiles. But I'll show you in just a second. First off, I'll be putting on these tops right here. Mm -hmm. 
So that's these tiled. I don't know, maybe they should be tiled with a brown one instead. Maybe that would look better, but I'm actually not sure. Oops, uh, taking it off. Maybe that looks better. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe this does look better. Maybe this is too much gray on gray on gray. Hmm. I'll change these round. Just a second. Yeah, I think that's much better actually. This looks this looks much much better. Not so much color confusion. And uh, now we just need to uh, to see if I can tile all this with some water maybe. So this is as far as I could get with what I've got unpacked right now. I do have a pick a brick cup that's got some of these in it as well, but um, I'll be making a haul video very soon as well. So I'll be showing you what's in that one. Uh, so this will be finished off screen, but I think, I think you get the idea of what this will look like. I think, I think this turned out much better than I could have hoped for. I do have these ends here that you need to come up with something for. Maybe just put in a couple of, um, a couple of, you know, tiles like this, just to uh, end everything in a nice way. I don't know, could be this, maybe something else. Anyway, I'll, I'll try this for now. Maybe I'll change my mind at some point, uh, but this is it. I think, um, of course, we need some in this end as well. Yeah, I think that adds some nice little detail for the end there. That's, um, that's pretty good. Of course, they need to be straightened all the way. I'll do that off screen. So this is, um, this is how far we got today. Now we just need to put this back in the city and see how everything looks. So here we are back in the city and let's see how it looks when I put in this new harbor like this. Do 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 do. Do do do. Come on. There we go. I think Yeah, I think that looks pretty neat. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This is good. I like the look of this and I like that there's now something in front of these buildings and viewing it like this it almost looks like everything is made of Lego and it looks very very finished like this I think if I just zoom out a bit you see how I am cheating with the camera angle but uh, nevertheless this is uh, this is how it looks Right now, of course, I still need to put in the um, the last blue tiles and I need to figure out what to do with the other side over here. Yeah, so this this side right here, I need to figure out what to do with that because um, this will look weird if the water just stops here. I could, of course, build another, another uh, part of the pier going down here, but I th think, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that and maybe I'll do something else. Maybe you have a suggestion. And if you do, please let me know in the comments on my website, which is on www.brickbakery.fun, where you can get the full Brick Bakery experience and comment on all my videos. I'd love to see you over there. So I've added in a little detail with some figures. Most of these are actually sick figs, which is always great fun to put these in your city. And yeah, I must admit, I'm really, really satisfied with how this ended up looking. I'm really looking forward to getting that last patch of barren base plate tiled up with the dark blue tiles, but I'm pretty sure I have them lying around in a pick a brick cup. So yeah, uh, back to uh, back to me. Yeah, thank you, me. Thank you for coming back to me. 
that was weird. Uh, well, that was uh, the harbor of my LEGO City. I'm actually very, very satisfied with how well this looks. I'm a bit surprised actually how well it looks, but um, I had some ideas in my head and I tried to put them down in bricks and it just seemed to come together the way I had thought it would, which is uh, very new to me actually. I usually get some ideas and I try it out and it doesn't work, but this time it just seemed to work right off the bat and I, I am really satisfied. But what do you think about my new harbor in my LEGO city? Is there something you would like to change, something you would like to add, or just something you thought of while watching this? Then please go to my website www.brickbakery.fun to get the full Brick Bakery experience and comment on all my videos if you want to. But that's all for me today. I hope I'll see you folks next Monday. <laughs>